so welcome back to angular 21 tutorial so angular 21 just got released right so the new things and the old things i have covered till now from project creation component data binding control flow statement directives routing template and the reactive form validation signal form and its validation api call integration how do we complete the basic CRUD operation right services life cycle event and pipes so till now these were very basic topic now we are moving towards one new topic that is login how do we implement a login page now implementing a login page is not any topic in angular it is just a concept two three concept we use it together and that's how you implement the login fine now so before moving ahead we know there are two types of web application let me open another notepad so one is website kind of application and another is admin kind of application admin app what basically we say right so in website kind of application your nav bar is always visible right and in navbar you have a login button and once you click on it with the navbar you get the login form visible and once you log in then some more links will be visible those will be visible only for the logged in user if you are logged in some more links are visible if you have seen amazon right once you sign up on the website you get my order or some add to god or some things you get right this is your website kind of structure another structure is ki without login you user uh, means application you cannot see anything by default only login application login page will be visible no navbar or nothing once you log in then you get to see remaining things right so that is your admin application here by default only login page will be visible once you log in then you get to see now bar and everything right so we have two types of application website and the admin app now there are multiple ways to do the login so one will be let's say hard code login means application is very uh, application is not very application is specific to particular user and let's say a particular business owner is going to use it so you can create a static login page and you can have a hard coded login whatever you say if and else statement that is your hard code login second will be most famous with api we authenticate user from the api we will have a login api we pass username and password email or password and api will authenticate if the credential whatever we passed is correct or not that is the second third with your active directory you know that uh, what do we say microsoft user let's say you are already on a system and you are working you are working on a company application and all the company application you don't have to log in because you are already on that active directory user so by default you are able to access so that is active directory login fourth is third party login now what is third party login so your google authenticator by facebook by twitter apple login and so many things right so these are the various types of different logins we can have sometimes in hard code login instead of hard code login we can have static login also we can create uh, what do we say json list of users and we will validate from that list of the users whatever you are. again it is a kind of a static only but there are multi there can be multiple users so these are the different types of login we have means various ways how you authenticate the user okay now before starting again if you are new please do like and subscribe in video description you will be finding a link of my whatsapp group you can join that and you can directly connect with me fine now let's start so first i will try the website part and then the admin part okay or let's first see the admin part because our application is not the application which we started is not a website kind of it has a sidebar so it's a admin kind of application now if we have to implement the login over here so what you need to do whenever you are implementing an admin app login so basically by default app component will be your parent component and login page will be visible over here in the parent component once you log in after that another component that is layout or home or header this will behave as a parent component after login if you are not logged in parent component will be your app component login component will get rendered into the app component 
But once you log in, then you need to see this now sidebar and everything, right? So at that time, what you need? Another, another parent component, which will act as a parent component. And here you have the navbar and here you have the router outlet that will be displayed. Fine. Now let's start. So app admin kind of application we are going to see and we are going to do with the hard code login. First hard code login I'm explaining. Then we will just replace that code with the API integration. Fine. Now, so let's close everything. Now, as I said, we are going to consider admin kind of application. So we need extra com two component, one login component and one header component where we are going to have our navbar. So let's open a new terminal. ng generate component login. First component what we need, where we will have the login form. Second component will be your header component. So again, up arrow key, header. Header component means header or layout. Layout is the right word. So this is where you will you will have the navbar. So two components we have created. Now the main thing is in the routing. Okay. So you have to go to approute.ts. Now here, this is your default route. After the default route, you will have the login route. So path, login, then component, login component. Now, when we didn't have the login functionality, we were redirecting our application to the data binding. But now our application is having login. So by default, it should navigate to the login page. Fine. This is the one change. Second, the second component what we have created. So again, I can give it path as empty. Here, component will be my layout component. So after login, layout component is going to be your parent component. In layout component, you will be having the navbar and everything, right? So all the component which you are going to access after the login will be children of the layout component. Okay, so now we will remove all from over here. Means not this and wildcard route, we will keep it at the outside and put it over here. Let's format it properly. So this should be your routing structure. Let me close, minimize this. Okay. So outside means without login, this is the only component what you are going to access. Once user login, all the component which you are going to access after the login will be children of your layout component. This is the routing structure for your admin app only. This structure you don't have to go for a website. Okay. If your application is admin, means by default only login page should be visible. Once user login, then you get to see the navbar and everything. So this is the routing structure you have to follow. Let's save it. This is the first thing. Let's see if you are able to see the login. If I remove this, by default page we are checking. See? login component is coming but if the login component is there we we should not show we should not show this navbar so currently our navbar was in our app component so now in our app component we won't have anything let's remove everything and this thing will go into our layout component over here we need the router outlet uh, import so let's add it router outlet Fine. And router link also we need. Router link. Fine. So in app component, what you will have? Just the router outlet, nothing else. Okay. So see what changes we did. Now in your app component, you will just have the router outlet. And your navbar will move get to the layout component where you are going to have your navbar. Fine. Let's save it and check it. Save. So if I remove it, by default, you can see only login component is coming. Now we need the UI. Let's use the chat GPT. Now what I need, I need the UI, right? So what I can say, I need a login page. We need a login page. So we can start with it. We don't need a context over here because it's a simple login page. Use bootstrap. And what, yeah, bootstrap and have some animation in login page. Use some modern background colors. Fine, let's see 
how do we get the login page again if you are good with uh, ui designing try to do it also but if you are al already good in ui designing why to waste the time also quickly come get the ui ready copy paste you get that time writing on the functionality right so this is the css what we need let's copy everything then i will remove it so now your login component will have this code so login html fine this css will go to our css file we don't need whole html code right then we don't need this we don't need this also just the login page should be here got it so whatever chat gpt provided we move it to the component now here it was considering that we will have a body but in our component we don't have a body so this we will replace with parent class and this class we will add it one more parent div so that the look and feel will be same because chat gpt has provided considering we have a html page but we don't have a html tag and body right so this is the quick fix you need to do let's move this over here let's save let's save our login page should be proper visible yeah. see within let's say not a one minute also within half minute you get a very proper login page working now consider even if you know the ui development very properly to design this you could have at least needed one hour agree so consider if you are a fresher or if you are on a medial scale how much time you will need so why do waste that time also ai is for that only Ki whatever the repeated work you are doing you use ai to minimize that work so that actual time you can use on the functionality and other optimization and advanced part what you can do okay so in this current market situation if you are not using ai so you will be left behind because companies also looking for a person who is good with ai who can complete his work done very quickly with the help of ai so you have to use ai we don't have any option now fine now so we got the login page as we said we are going to do the hard code login hard code login means statically we will check it now here we have the login page so let's create an object so i will create a class also so class login model what you have email colon data type string password colon data type string and you have a constructor and you will initialize this property instead of going any i'm initializing it this dot password so we created model for this now in our class we have to create an object so login obj colon now data type instead of going with any we created a class so this class you need to bind it over here since it's a class we can use a new operator and we can initialize it okay now template form we are going to use so pom's module we will import now in our html we need to bind it also so over here ng model square bracket is equal to login object dot email it is providing intelligence because we have binded it with our class same property you add it over here because we are using ng model inside a font tag if you don't use the name attribute you will get the error correct square bracket round bracket ng model login object dot password always make sure you have the practice of writing like this why because in the machine test you cannot copy paste and if you don't have a habit of writing this you might get confused at that time okay now so we created let me close everything we don't need all the files fine so we created object and that object we bind it to our form also now on click of login we have to validate user so click on login let's create this function as we said hard code login right so what is hard code login you will be able to see now hard code login means nothing here only you will check if this dot login object dot email if user provide admin at the red gmail dot com and and both thing we need to match now so this dot login object dot password is equal to is equal to let's say two two three three four four let me so this is the hard code login 
if user provide this email id and this password then only we will allow him to log in now if user provide this we will allow him to log in if any of the credential he didn't pass so we will say alert wrong credential that's it so this is only your machine test so many small small companies will ask you to implement the login page but if they don't provide you the api how you are how you are going to log in so with the hard code login okay if they provide api it is very easy but hard code login you are actually writing the code right now once you log in if the user credentials are correct then you need to navigate user inside the application so for that you need the router service so now as i said when we talk about login page login page is not a topic in angular but it's a combination of two three topics so this is one right second is router service now we are seeing router service router is a service by which you can navigate by from dot ts now because from dot ts you have to navigate so router service object you have to create it so this dot router service dot navigate by url wait router engine router only this dot router dot yeah now it is coming navigate by url and where you have to navigate inside the application so the route which are the children right so let's say once user is navigate once user login by default where you have to navigate so let's say i'm navigating to signal so here you have to pass it let's check it if we are able to log in or not so by default you get the login page let's say i'm passing the wrong password correctly okay if i click on the login you get the wrong credential else block got executed let's pass the correct credential let me not the red g mail.com sorry and 223344 now if i click on login the e block will execute and it will navigate him inside the application see you are inside the application now this is your login page implementation easy right but just routing structure is something what you need to take care so this is very basic implementation of your login page with the hard code login now in next episode we will be using this same thing and we will instead of the hard code login we will be using our api to authenticate okay once api integration is done then auth guard is there then interceptor is there fine so in just login we have so many things okay again just to revise please do like and subscribe if you have not done it yet okay i hope you are liking my content please do add comments if you have any suggestion if you need any changing uh, means any thing specific i am not elaborating something right you can comment it out thank you all